Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanilungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse. We've started posting again so you guys can hit there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations that you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we have a Patreon account called Funny and Jesse. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to the people that keep on subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. You guys are the best. We wouldn't come this far without you guys. We're almost reaching 17,000 subscribers. And I'm just excited. You guys are the best. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today I'm going to be reacting to um, Khalid Yassin, who will look John matthew and mac so without wasting time by the way check out my blog um morning coffee with funny i have some amazing posts that you guys don't want to miss that i I, I think they're amazing so i'm sure you guys will enjoy them as well otherwise without wasting time let's get into the video matthew mark luke and john who were they matthew who mark who luke who and john who what were their last names? When did they write? Did they know Jesus Christ? Did they walk with Jesus Christ? Did they eat with Jesus Christ? Did they talk with Jesus Christ? Did they even meet Jesus Christ? The answer is no, 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 no. Conclusively. The earliest of them that wrote, wrote 40 years after Jesus Christ. So they never met him. The last of them wrote 80 years after Jesus Christ. Never met him. The other thing is, all of them seem to have written the gospel according to, according to, according to, according to. Now, when you write a letter, do you sign it according to? According to is the third party. If Joanne or Jackie or Bobby or Johnny told me something and I wrote it, I would say, according to Joanne, Jackie, Bobby, or Ronnie, according to. But those four people would not write a letter and in front of it say, Jackie, according to Jackie, and not even write a last name. Because if Jackie wrote me a check and only said Jackie, I couldn't cash it. And if I was a policeman and I stopped Jackie on the road and she had a license that only said Jackie, she's going to jail. <laughs> Where in the world is a document with only one name of four different writers that did not meet the one whom they're writing about? Where is that accepted in the whole world? Nowhere except in the Bible. And the church fathers and the church writers and the Christian historians, they all agree that perhaps those four writers themselves were only pen names. Because a writer would not write his only, his first name according to. And there's a great amount of suspicion that the man called Paul, Saul of Tarsus, that because he wrote all the books from Acts all the way to the end of the New Testament, how many books is that? How many? 16, 15, 17, 19? All the books of Acts on Colossians, Ephesians, Corinthians, Romans, Galatians, all of those books are written by whom? Paul, Saul of Tarsus, another man who never walked, who never talked, who never met, who never ate, who never prayed, who never knew Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? Now here we find four writers and another one 
between them that wrote all the New Testament books that never talked, never walked, never ate, never prayed, never met the man called Jesus Christ. Yet, in their words, the first mentioning of the Trinity came from where? From Jesus or from them? The first mentioning of Jesus being divine, a man God, came from whom? From them. The first mentioning that Jesus is the Son of God came from whom? From them. Jesus never said in his own words any such words, but it was the men who never met him, who claimed to have written, who didn't know their last names. And Paul, by the way, before he had that vision on the road to Damascus that only he saw and only he heard, Guess what his occupation was? Do you know? He was a bounty hunter, a hunter of Christians, hunting them down like animals, binding them and bringing them to where? To Rome so that they could be executed. Now if Hitler, after killing thousands of Jews, said that on the road to Berlin, he had a vision that he was named an apostle to the Jews, and he wrote 20 books that all the Jews are supposed to follow. Do you think they would be following that book? I don't understand how people just don't read history. This is not what Khalid said, so don't get angry with me. This is your own scripture. Your own Bible scholars, the own church fathers, all of them agree that Paul never met Jesus, that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John never met Jesus. By the way, they were not disciples, nor were they walkers and talkers of the disciples. They were just writers and historians. Very interesting video. I mean, it's quite true. Just because someone woke up today and said, um, I had a dream that the, I was now someone you should listen to and follow, would all have that doubt somewhere. It's just like there's many things that go on in this world. Many people argue in the comments saying, but this person did this, why should we follow them? But this person did this, why should we follow them? I feel like these are fair questions to ask. Why should I, why should I believe that? Jesus um, was a messenger of God after he maybe destroyed people's property in the those people that were selling by the church or something. Why should I believe such a person can be the middleman between me and God? These are just fair questions that people ask. They're not criticizing Christianity or criticizing Jesus, but they want to know how a man of God can act in such a manner. And I totally understand. Also, this thing of these books, we really need to look into them. Why are we reading them? Why are you reading them? Why are people preaching something by someone who didn't um, exist during the time of these messengers being um, alive? It just doesn't make sense. Otherwise, this was really an interesting video, which now makes me wonder, did Jesus have a surname or does Jesus have a surname even though he's no longer um, alive. What was Jesus' surname and did other people also have surnames in the past? I would love for someone to just clarify that for me and I will really really appreciate. Otherwise just filter the information you get. Don't just say just because I've seen it on TV it's right. Just like how they advertise different detergents but when you buy them they don't even make our clothes white or as clean as they sold to us. Otherwise, so that's that. Always food to the information that you get out there for your own good and for the people around you. Otherwise, like I say, always read. There's knowledge in books. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.